This is not how you make a map. I actually don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. He's made a map that people are playing on. If that doesn't count, then what does? I hope he said it as a joke, and not because he's afraid that if he doesn't put himself down, then other mappers will feel the need to do so. Because any mapper worth listening to will know that there's more than one way to make a map. Um, so I made a map. Bombsite B has been one of the biggest struggles of uh, the entire design process. Trying to work out what to put on it and what to do with the entire site has always been quite difficult to me. It's been a very large, wide, open area uh, for the entire time that I have been making the, the the game, and it's always it's never had enough entrances. So Bombsite B is likely to still go through more changes, but this is it in its final glory as of the start of the beta testing. Most final map layout changes uh, that could occur probably won't change this site uh, the way it is designed by floor plan, but it will probably change with the number of props and things that you will find on the site itself. Uh, trying to add more cover has always been a big priority for me because I always felt like this site was a little bit too open. Other than that, I am quite happy with how it's turned out and the 5G tower always makes me laugh every time the bomb goes off. T. Spawn was a tough one as well. It's a very wide open area and cutting down on some of the space was a big issue for me, especially considering that for a lot of uh, CSGO maps, whenever you create a spawn it's never really used again the only map that i can think of that actually had a lot of usage after the uh round was started was dust 2 so with that in mind i it wasn't a high priority for me that i make this map accessible or i make this area more accessible and good to rotate with however i did come up with a small trick by adding some water here, if a player decides to jump off after planting the bomb, they can easily go and flank whoever is trying to retake the site, at the risk of a possible defuse, but nonetheless they can do it. This mid location here is always uh, a fun area for a firefight. I've been thinking about adding some boxes in the center, or maybe something to make it so that you can't just get shot from the cross every single time. but. That will have to be done in a later update. As it is now, I think it's kind of fun. Um, I enjoy getting killed here a lot. Uh, like, a lot, a lot. Like, you, you don't understand just how much I get killed in this location. Long is a lot of fun. You've got the open entrance from the underground area of crypts that leads up here, which is kind of a fun area to be in any point in the game. It's always fun to be in a graveyard. Uh... And then they don't have to move your bodies so far when they decide to uh, shoot you. But I've always enjoyed fighting in long, mainly because of the tight spaces that now are allowed in this area. See, when it was first created, uh, this was a wide open area and the wall on the right with the arch in it didn't exist. So you could get shot from anywhere, pretty much. And that made for some exciting gameplay but also quite annoying gameplay getting shot from the other side of the map. So changes were made and that wall was added. It's always been a lot more fun since then, uh, but I do miss the old days every now and again. Moving to this part of the A site outside, I'm never entirely sure what to do with it. It makes up a good portion of long, uh, where it's quite fun, but any ideas for how to make this garden a little bit more interesting, maybe even add some more cover would be quite helpful. Uh, I also do at some point need to stop being lazy and change the floor so that it is mostly dirt with a stone path again, but unfortunately, as I said, I'm lazy. A site is one of my favourite areas. I feel it's really well designed. I don't know about other people, but I actually really enjoy trying to plant on this bomb site because there are so many areas where people can be hidden, but you can actually search them all. Uh, keeping people off the site is also a lot of fun because you've got several areas where you can hide. This dead end just down here is particularly uh, frustrating for the people uh, who get caught in there, but it's quite a good place to hide if you're trying to keep the site. 
sitting area was just a little bit of fun that I added for my friends so that we could sit around and chat if we ever had to wait for someone to come back to the game and we didn't feel like continuing playing. CT spawn has pretty much always been at this part of the map. It used to have a little archway entrance into mid, but that was a an extremely fast way of rotating for the uh, CTs to get into mid and get a lot of middle map control, which is not ideal if you are a map maker. You don't want to give the CTs too much control. You want them to have access to both bomb sites first, but not mid control. Mid control is how the T's push both sites. So it made sense to block that area off, but now this area feels quite empty. I do actually really want some differences and some changes in this area, so anyone, again, who has any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I can't think of what to turn this into, and I really need to uh, come up with some ideas. Heaven or B Long is quite a frustrating area as well. I'm never sure where to put the boxes or things to hide behind because when you add them in, it means that people can stand behind things, and we already have all of the areas along the walls, the uh, the the columns, I guess you could call them, that people can hide behind. So it gets quite frustrating trying to work out what to do when it comes to boxes along here. One plan has also been to open up this wall in front of me here, because opening that up means that you can go around onto the front of the site, which would be quite fun to... Uh, add as that means that anyone who comes up from the entrance way uh, from outside uh, they'll be able to rotate around left and right as opposed to just right that's something i've been struggling with as well i'm not sure about moving or changing things so that this is a feature but i do thoroughly enjoy this part of the bomb site i think it's quite fun and i like orping people along here Mid itself is quite a fun area as well. This has gone through probably the most changes of the entire map. It's been made about eight times smaller than it used to be. Uh, this was quite a large, wide open area, but due to a lot of player criticism about being shot from literally anywhere, uh, it had to be made smaller. One of the biggest uh, parts that I think helped was adding both the tree and the water tank right in the middle of the map. They've made it so that you can't just get shot all the way across, and it effectively cuts down on the long orping areas that CTs would find themselves in. Would you shut the fuck up? Another thing that was different was that you used to be able to, from the heaven area, uh, you would be able to shoot down the staircase that leads down into lower mid, and that was not a good area to be. You would always get out orped. Uh, there was no cover for you. You had to basically smoke yourself off uh, to be able to push up the staircase. But as it is now, there is a nice wall that uh, steps out across the front so that you can get all the way to the base of the, the wall that we're talking about here. You can get all the way to there and then you have pretty much a fair contest. Or, or, or you can throw a smoke and make it all the way to the water tank. Either way, it's a lot more fun than it used to be. Outside right now is a bit of a mess. Uh, each of these pavilion areas, I guess you could call them, has uh, what's called a player clip uh, wall inside each of them so that you can't go jumping around on the tables. That was intentional, but was what was not intentional was the fact that you can't shoot through them. So effectively, someone used to be able to orp all the way along here, and now they can't shoot through any of these. I will definitely be changing this in a future update, but I haven't had the time right now. I felt like it was more important to get people playing on this map, and I will change that as soon as possible. But yeah, any issues with this particular area, I understand it's a bit broken. Uh, there's also some entrance, uh, some pathways that are not quite long enough. Um, yeah, this, this area is, is a mess, as I said, and it will get changed. Adding this flooded walkway to the map was one of the funnier tasks, because it meant that I had to start changing some of the geometry of the world and start using smaller, what's called in Hammer, brushes. Brushes are basically all of the squares and objects that you see in the map that aren't uh, prop models. So prop models would be, for example, the doorways on the right, whereas a brush is the boxes or the walls or the ceiling. Uh, this water brush that is actually on the ground here uh, makes it so that you can jump down from B site and land safely, which I think I uh, mentioned already. One of the more interesting bits about it was that it also casts a bunch of reflections, which can kill your computer if it is a potato. So adding it was 
interesting because I wanted to put it in an area where it would look beautiful to go into, but I also didn't want it to be one of the main combat areas because fighting in water is not really something that someone with a potato computer wants to do. So it's been added and I do also wish that people use this corridor more because I find it quite fun. It's quite loud, but you can get around the uh, watery noises, you can jump over them or around them at the risk of making some other noises, or you can go a lot slower and uh, not make as much noise anyway. Crypts has always been one of my favorite areas. It's a fun underground area that's tightly enclosed and people can fight their way to victory or defeat in here. There are three entrances to crypts, one of them with a ladder and two of them just with ramps. Ramps have been a massive part of the map, either through staircases or actual ramps themselves, and verticality has always been one of my focuses with this map. I like the idea of people being able to either jump down on top of players or run rounds and uh, climb down behind them, or even climb up behind them in the case of B site. I really like having multiple entrances to areas, and I like not having two closed off things. So, when designing crypts, it was actually kind of a fluke that I ever even thought of it. Uh, two kinds of advice were given to me around the same time, and they inspired this area to be created. So the first bit was that we noticed a, a bug in the map over by CT. If the CT is climbed on top of the ramped up roof, they could jump using a boost out of the map. They would take 95 damage from falling, but they would land on a surface underneath the map and would be able to walk around and shoot players through the floor. I found it really cool that they could just jump out of the map and go underground effectively. But obviously that's not very good gameplay if you can just shoot people through the ground. So what I decided to do instead was decided was I decided to add this area. Kind of reminiscent of the map's history. I thought it was a lot of fun and that this would kind of just add some uh, personality to the map. It also gave me an area for where Dracula could be sleeping, so, you know. The church itself has given me a lot of issues over the design of it. Uh, from the shape that I should be designing it at to all the other things that can go wrong with a church. There, there's been a, a fair few things that I have struggled with over the course of its design, but I feel like right now in its low poly kind of form, I'm quite happy with it. I like the little entrance way so that you can have more of a position to hold at the front of it and so that you can also not just hold one angle as an AWPer at the back and, you know, be successful. You can get shot from a lot of the front area. Uh, I also like that it's open on both sides, which means that people can go around people and uh, climb in from the sides. It makes the site open, but also nice and closed so that you can still defend it, but it's, it's a good fight. I feel like the design of the church itself uh, definitely made the map what it is, because without it, I don't think I would have called it DE Dracula. So please play test my map, please enjoy. Uh, I hope it is fun for you guys, and that's all from me. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.